So I ran a few more experiments, and this time I'm able to use torque to rotate the player. First, let me just show you. Depending on the mouse click, we're rotating the player. And just like the last video, we're only using the rigid body. The difference is that instead of using add force, we're using add torque. And I have two different objects to show you the difference. This is the player. The player uses the rigid body to rotate, while this thing, I'm simply changing transform values. If I look at the code, the character controller. By the way, this isn't Unity's default character controller. This is character controller under namespace controller experiment. The key point here is the angle calculator, get angle. It's a simple function. If I take a look, we're getting an arc tangent. It's nothing more than an angle between the x axis and a coordinate. So if you have the x axis and a position, you're able to get the angle in between. A key point here is that you get it in radians, so you have to understand what a radian is. Let's say you have a circle and a radius. Now let's say we draw over the circle to create an arc. So the length of the arc and the radius is exactly the same. If you use the two edges of the arc to get an angle, that is one radian. Here's two radian, three radian, pi radian, and a full circle is two pi radian. So back to the question where we're getting the angle between two points. The question is how many radians is this? By using this function, you get that angle in radians. So back in the code, we're getting the radian by using x and z. If you get a top-down view on the player, and let's say the player's forward is facing this way, by using the arctangent function, you're able to get an angle on the player's forward direction. Radians can easily be converted to degrees. One radian equals 57.2 something degree. So back in the code, whatever direction you're facing, we're able to get a value based on that direction. If I play again, I'm going to take a look at the target angle, and we're able to get a value on which direction we want to face. So starting from zero, we can go up to 180. Or starting from zero, we can go down to negative 180. If I look at the code again, I want to get all the references on get angle. So we're getting two angles. One is the current angle of the player's forward, and the other angle is the target angle that you get from your mouse click. We get the difference between the two angles, angle difference. And this is just to make sure that you take the shortest path. If we have a circle in two different points, you want to go this way, not the other way. So now that we have the angle difference, we use that value to add torque or minus torque. When you add torque using the up vector or down vector, you're either going to get a clockwise spin or a counterclockwise spin. The problem is that the angle difference will not give you an exact value on how strong the torque should be. And that's where the multiplier comes in. If I look at the editor again, this is the multiplier. We have one at the top and 0.01 .01 at the bottom. The basic idea is that if the angle difference is bigger, you get a bigger multiplier. If the angle difference is small, you get a smaller multiplier. I do this because I want an instant turn. If the angle difference is big, you want a big torque. If the angle difference is small, you want a smaller torque so that you don't overshoot. But you can also limit the torque, max torque here. Let me decrease this. And you can make it smoother. Let me make it one. Okay. And one last thing. This is the same idea that I had in my last video. For this experiment, I don't want any momentum. I want immediate stops. Whenever we're adding torque, in the next update, we add the exact amount of opposite force. So torque returns back to zero, and just like last time, we're using the force mode for velocity change. And that's pretty much it. You can download everything in the links below. And maybe you can try this yourself. The next task is moving the player while rotating, and I'm going to do that in the next video.
So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.